Now this is the benefit from working at home. <laughs> you would not be sitting in an office in London with a blanket around you. This is the beauty of being at home. And just before we dive into the video, could you please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe? That'd be much, much appreciated. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Good morning ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new video. Okay, good morning ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new video. As you guys would know, every day I start the day with a coffee, this is the key to success this is the key to happiness this is the key to productivity this is the key to everything coffee is great anyway i'm talking about coffee welcome to a brand new video today we are filming a day in the life of an architectural assistant so i'm currently working for an architecture practice located in london however because of the current situation with the pandemic with covid with the coronavirus i'm working from home working from my home in nottingham we're working through a server so we can access all of the files and all the models and everything from our kind of home environment and yeah today i'm going to be filming my day take you through um kind of like my daily routine as an architectural assistant working from home so sit back relax and enjoy you see the <laughs> The Percy Pig advent calendar. Working at home remotely, I start off the day by waking up at around probably like 20 past eight. I hit the snooze button many a time, which gives me enough time to wake up, have a shower, grab myself a coffee, and make breakfast. And most mornings I try and get into some kind of work clothes. I'm sat here with jeans on at the moment, but not every day I'm sat here with jeans. Usually I try and aim to get in some kind of work gear just to make me feel like I'm actually going to work. I'm getting up and going to work. You guys probably think that most people working from home are probably sat at their desk in their boxes and with a hoodie on and getting all cozy with a blanket and everything, which I do occasionally, not necessarily the boxes, but I'll sit there in joggers um, just because I want to be cozy. But most of the time I try and get into some kind of work attire to make me feel like I'm actually at work and make me feel like I'm actually in a routine to be working. And then those lazy kind of days can come at the weekend. But in terms of working hours, I'm working nine till 5.30. I have a one hour lunch break between quarter to one and quarter to two. And I'm working five days a week, Monday to Friday. Lunchtime. Is it okay if I call you my private baby? I ain't no player, I just got a lot of baby. But let me tell you. So every lunch, without fail, I go for a walk, even if it's like. 20, 25 minutes long just because I need to get out at some point of the day, get some vitamin D. Obviously, at the moment with working in winter, um, the nights are the very dark. It's getting dark at literally like three, four o'clock now. And obviously because I finish work at half five, if I don't go out at lunch, it means I won't get any sunlight at all. So on my lunch, whilst I wait for my dinner to cook, I thought I'd sit down and answer a couple questions that you guys have been asking me. Question number one, what have you been doing so far on your placement year? So it's quite mixed at the moment. I'm obviously not gonna go into any detail about the projects or the people I'm working with because I wanna keep that kind of professional side of things quite personal and private. But in general terms, I've been working a lot in Revit um, and I've come to realize kind of how important Revit is as a software um, to learn as a student because going into practice, if you know how to use Revit, you're pretty much sorted, especially if the practice is obviously predominantly using Revit. And luckily for me, um, the project that I've kind of started on is huge. It's enormous. So the team is quite big and it means that there's a lot of models and there's a lot of coordination and also means there's a lot of people to talk to. And I've been kind of 
passed around the team on each of the packages, meaning that I've got kind of good experience now working in different packages and understanding how different things are working. Um, so currently right now I'm working a lot in Revit, so I'm getting involved in a lot of things, which is also very good in starting your architectural assistant job. Question numero two, what does your new job entail? Are you creative at work? I think for you guys that are leaving university and going into a job as an architectural assistant, I think you would be a little bit shocked if you hadn't had um, kind of experience prior to kind of leaving university. I had work experience in two practices before I left university, so I kind of understood what kind of environment and what work I'd be doing when I leave. Obviously it depends what practice you're going into, but essentially the work that you're doing in practice is going to be quite different to your university work. It isn't as creative. You might come in at a stage of a project where you're kind of working on deadlines um, for a final submission or kind of the final stages of a project, so you're not really involved in the creative side of things and you might be touching up sheets um, that are going to be submitted. But if you're coming in early on in a project where you're more involved in the kind of development and the conceptual kind of growth of the project, you might be a little bit more involved in the kind of creative side of things. So I guess it depends what um, kind of stage you come into the practice and what stage you come into the project. Um, but predominantly the work isn't going to be as experimentational experimentation is that even a word because really at university you have free range you have free range to do whatever you want you have free range to explore whatever you want um so definitely grasp that opportunity at university before going into the real world i was that hungry that i completely forgot to film <laughs> my lunch before starting to eat it but essentially it's nothing special we've got sweet potato fries a bit of salad with tuna fish cakes are you just as ready for christmas as i am yeah back to work. Now this is the benefit from working at home. <laughs> you would not be sitting in an office in London with a blanket around you. But this is the beauty of being at home. It's a little bit wet. Just a little bit. What? Just a little bit wet, ladies and gents. Hey. No, don't do that because you're making me wet. Got all dried up. <laughs> that was a bit of a wet one. So usually straight after work, I would go on like a one hour, two hour walk just to get some more fresh air, just to get some more exercise. And if I don't go for a walk, I'll probably go to the gym for an hour or two, literally straight after work to kind of remove myself from my home environment. And obviously being sat at this desk pretty much all day, nine till 5.30, Obviously minus that walk that I have at lunch. I always try and kind of spend the evenings away from a screen, away from this desk and away from kind of this environment as best as I possibly can. Obviously sometimes I'm editing YouTube videos, I'm doing photos for Instagram and if you're not following my Instagram, it's at Tom Rose Studios. <laughs> but usually I try and remove myself from this environment as best as I possibly can um, just to kind of give my mind a bit of a rest and kind of hit that reset button for the evening and kind of just enjoy some time away from this kind of area in this desk. But usually in the evening I'll probably sit and watch the football or watch a film, um, go to the gym obviously, go on a walk and kind of shut my brain off from the world of architecture for obviously starting work the following day. And yeah, that is pretty much my day. I usually try and aim to get into bed for probably about 10 because um, <laughs> I usually get very tired in the evening obviously after working all day. And I try and get into bed as early as humanly possible to obviously get the rest for the following full day of work. Not as exciting as you guys probably thought it would be. It's obviously quite melodic, obviously working from home, working in my home environment. I do similar things every day. My routine is very similar. Um, and yeah, I just kind of work everything around my work. Um, and I'm gonna be working in this job for a year. So I'm working from September to September. And then when I finish my job in September, I'll be going straight into my master's degree or my master's course which is classed as my part two. So I'm currently working as a part one architectural assistant. I then go into my part two, which is classed as my masters. And yeah, that is the plan. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. If you haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We are literally a couple of subscribers away from 15,000. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button. That'd be much, much appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time. Peace. Bottom, bottom, bottom.